Alright, here is a tutorial to do skirts for VRChat. Uh, this time using rotation constraint, which is a new feature of Unity 2018, which uh, really helps us with the skirts. Essentially what we're gonna do, instead of the old method of essentially having things painted uh, to the leg, where we would have the issue that everything that's like above here and that's still painted to the leg which is rotate inside we actually with rotation constraints we can take the rotation that we have on our leg and we can apply the exact same rotation or percentages of it to the other bones but it's going from the actual pivot point of the skirt's bone. And to do that we can use the already existing skirt bones that we have here. We just have to get rid of the ones in uh, the front and the back, the center ones. As it doesn't really play nicely if you have something that is like assigned to two bones, it will act wonky. And it also doesn't seem to properly, like I, I don't want the bone to just simply go out like this. What I would want is also it to be like turned a little bit. And the easiest way to actually do that is just have that weight divided to the left and the right one. So let's quickly and simply do that. Let's hide the armature first. Makes it a little bit easier. And let's enter straight into wave paint mode. So which ones we need is zero one, which needs to be part of zero one and should be 0, 011, yes. Uh, we just go here, play a modifier, and wait mix. Use add, with only effect in group B. Here we need skirt uh, 0, 1. And good. See you, see you. Make a copy of that. And here, place 11. I see it here. That's how it will look like. Make another copy of it. Uh, apply the first one. Apply the second one. And this one, let's change. Oh, that should be 0, but we want. The second one, which in this case is this one here. Copy this one and have it go to this one. Apply, apply. Let's have a quick look if we all did it correctly. Yes, yes. Um, where is it? Zero one, yes. Two one, two one. There. Ah, uh, we can get rid of this one. We no longer need it. And the other one. As soon as I find it. Oh, there it is. The only thing we have left to do is actually make these no longer full strength and for that I will go to tools, set it to subtract, set it to like 0 0.50 and just with alt apply it. 
uh, gradient to it. This and this one here. Same with this one, just from the other side. I just take something like hips, weights, normalize all. Let's have a look at it. This looks fine. This looks fine. Yeah. And we would do the same thing in a Back, but for you know just showing it I don't need to do the extra work and you don't need as much room in the back as in the front but show the bones again cats post mode so since we deleted these they no longer do something and we can actually center but now we have these ones Moving with the front, kind of decently. Because we don't actually need as much room to the side. It's relatively hard to actually lift your leg on the side more than like 45 degrees. So we don't actually need on this one that much. And similarly to the back, you actually can't move it that much. So this might actually be good enough already. Uh, our main problem is that if we link them together and we need it to be able to go like 80 something degrees and this one also goes like 80 something degrees so this is like a little bit too much so we would like reduce it like having at like 70% of the strength is good enough here but it also means that if we go like 40 degrees here then this one here in, in front will go back like 30 degrees in which case it will uh, clip so that's something to look out of and you can deal with that with like careful positioning of the bones so you don't need to rotate them too much or that the upper bone rotates a little bit and the rest rotates from the other one. So we need to plan this out a little bit, be careful and you might have to change something in the position of the bones or where uh, are the, the, the weight paints so that when your leg goes backwards this bone doesn't, you know, clip into your leg. Similarly on the back, when you need to, you know, move it a little bit backwards to accommodate the leg, that when the leg moves forward, it doesn't go into the ass. And that's here done, we can actually stop post mode uh, save this as an FBX export FBX and turn it into let's call this skirt FBX yeah Stop up here this in here uh, I'm not gonna bother with giving a rig now doesn't really you know need it just for showing off and we go to our bones we have the root skirt where everything is it makes it a little bit simpler and like one two five would be the ones on the left leg 
and this one would be like and if we had done it like completely then we wouldn't have like the one in the back so we mark all of these and we give it a rotation constraint set it here to so we can add one and what we will add to it is the left leg now we will first give them strength don't click on zero because then it will fuck up and it will give like the exact same initial rotation that the leg bone has to this one and, and don't do that uh, in the front let's try 0 0.7 activate it for the second one let's try 0 0.5 Five. That sounds like it would work. Exactly the side. We probably will be fine with this. We don't need as much move to the side. The back. Probably we will be fine with zero one. And the back zero one again. Now we just select this one, the leg, and play around with it. And as you can see, as we move it, it moves it all the well. So to the side, looks pretty good. Actually, the one over here could have needed a little bit more. Uh, back, go to the side. To the back, we see it, it's clipping. That's too strong here. And to the front, 90 degrees, it kind of is working. But we probably would be better off with, let's see if in this one at least, if we make it 0 0.5 and And we properly rotate it, like, yeah, no, it's like not enough. So we need to make it like two point six. Try again. Uh, that is like a good chunk here. Now we would go to this one, give it also a rotation constraint. Try a small amount, add the left leg, and so this one will also get a little bit of extra rotation and this might be then good enough. Yeah, not perfect, but we could change a little bit in Blender to make this work a little bit better. and. So clips in the back. Uh, if we move the leg too far back, and ideally we would have like changed a little bit in Blender to make this less of a situation. That's how, something how you need to experiment around, and then you would also do the same thing on the other side with the other leg. Like ideally you would move, let's say, post mode, let's select these here. Yeah, ideally we would actually have these moved a little bit forward, like this. And we have a little bit more wiggle room and yeah. That's something you could do. It's more or less just a little bit of experimenting what works and what doesn't. But that's essentially how you do it with rotation constraints. Depends on how your skirt bones are set up. Uh, if you have a really long skirt, you can actually do it if it goes like almost to the ground. You just need to do 
going into consideration that uh, a skirt need to be able to accommodate that you can move the leg relatively far up but also then put your knee down which is important for uh, the back because you can move then your leg like this and that the end of the skirt is able to go up so this doesn't clip. It's not perfect but it doesn't use dynamic bones and it doesn't use claw physics so and uh, that's how it works. So I hope this helps people set up the skirts and you know understand the value of constraints. The other constraints are also really really useful for a lot of things. You could also use this for all kinds of other objects like let's say you have something on, on the shoulders wherever you don't want it to uh, rotate around what it's normally more or less on just use rotation constraint it's good play around with it a little bit and you can get really good results with it uh, I hope this this helps and I don't have to clarify too much later on okay uh, have a nice day bye bye